Our guest today is Shane Butterworth. We were first introduced to his music when he came to record a single on the LBS Country Collection. Welcome Shane. Thank you very much, Cheselie. Who was your most significant role model back when you started writing and performing? Um, it would have been from right through from Don Williams, Merle Haggard, Emmy Lou Harris, Slim Dusty, uh, to try and name a few. It's very diverse, uh, all the way through to Charlie Pride, I think. So that actually explains those beautiful country rhythms you get where you just lock into that backbeat and you get that really beautiful feel to your music. My main influence in those things would be, because I've only been writing for the last eight years, um, I would help my father out, who was a, a songwriter musician, and um, I think what's happened is I've felt a real genuine want to connect with what Dad's music was about, and subconsciously possibly I've had the ability to make those songs what I would think my father would really appreciate. That's come out in my music. Your father was a huge influence in your life, not just in your music. My father was a top bloke, he really was. He was a very good musician, he had a, a real feel for writing great ballads, um, and he, had, he was gifted with a with an excellent voice as well. And uh, yeah, I, I always looked up to my dad. I can remember the first time I saw him play. Um, I was about seven years old and I saw the reaction from the crowd and it was incredible to be there to witness that. I know how emotional you were when you came to record your very first single. Uh, a lot of that was because you were finally doing something professional with your music mm -hmm. and you felt the how proud your father would have been of you. Yeah, just I, I know that he would be very moved and, and extremely proud of, of his son getting on with things and actually getting to the point now where I'm sharing my music with many. We knew your father, so it was a, a pleasure for Lindsay and I to be able to help you with your career. Lindsay, as your producer, you have really bonded with him and he has al almost become a father figure to you. Yeah, definitely. I, I noticed that and so did Kim, also my, my lady. Um, she, she said to me, she said, do you have a very strong connection with Lindsay? And I said, yeah. I said, well, he's the same vintage as Dad. They're carved from the same stone. And I love what Lindsay Butler is all about. Would you like to tell us a little bit about your first single? The night before that song was written, I had a really nice memory of a time when I was playing a gig at the Cotter Reserve Tavern in Canberra. And it was a gig that Dad and I played together. And so I had a flashback to that heard in my head the way he combed his hair back and never rolled his eyes at me. My voice was coming along with it and I thought, okay, this is a song. And um, 15 minutes later, it was about 95% complete. I find writing very effortless and very good for my soul. Um, it's a nice way of being able to express things that must have been very deep within me and they've wanted to come to the surface. and. Uh, it's a special feeling that comes and I, it makes me realise, you know, you can play a lot of other people's music and you can put your heart into it, but until you've actually started performing your own material, your stories, um, what a significant difference it is. And I love being a songwriter musician. I totally yeah. get that. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do, Shadow, I bet you do. Your new single is a very, very special song to us and to you. It sure is. Um, what made you take the time to write a song in honour of Lindsay Butler. Lindsay, his, his essence of who he is, the, the man that I've gotten to know in such a short period of time, um, he is the real deal. Cool, calm and collected, and he's a gentleman. And in a dog-eat-dog -dog world, he has stayed true to who he is. I see him as, uh, I was actually speaking with Kim the other night on the phone, and I said, I think Lindsay Butler would be one of my most favourite people. He's just such a genuine person, brilliant guitarist, easy to connect with, tells it as it is, pays a compliment when it's due. I explained to Lindsay on the phone after I'd sent the song through to you to have a listen that um, you must be wondering what sort of fella writes a song like that about another person. And Lindsay was quite moved and feeling very humble, as he'd said to me. Um, but to be honest, it was one of the easiest things that I've ever done in my life. And I did meet Lindsay back when I was a 14 year old. Um, I was invited to a jam session and um, somebody said once we'd been there, they said, Lindsay Butler's coming. And Dad and I were both, wow, Lindsay Butler's coming. 
and Lindsay stuck around for about 45 minutes and then he had to go. So you've always been a fanboy. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I, I, look, I, I like lots of That's different beautiful. sort of music. People say to me, what, do you just write country? No, I don't. I, I like good music and so and there's a lot of good country out there and if I can contribute to that. What does the future hold in store for Shane Butterworth? I'm an open book. Um, the sky's the limit and I'd like to stick around with you guys and see where things can take me. Excellent. Well, I think we're well and truly on our way. We'd like to share the new Shane Butterworth single with you now uh, called The Guitar Man, all about Lindsay Butler. Thanks, Shane. You're welcome, Shaz. Thank you very much. Good on you, mate. Cheers. You're tuned into The Shazalee Show, produced by the LBS Music Group and recorded at LBS Music Land in Tamworth, Australia's country music capital. We thank today's sponsors, Oz Radio Gold, DLX Detailing and Shot by Lock Photography. country lad from Tenderfield gave up his farming days to fill those dreams he held to play guitar stand upon the stage spread his country music scene and turned another page because young Lindsay Butler played the soul-filled country sounds he made now the land down under held a brand new Yes, the land down under held a brand new star He toured across this great big land with Athel and Eileen Playing country towns and city shows he built upon his dreams By the summer of 1969, big plans were in the schemes he joined the Buddy Williams show Several years and down the road Went catching yellow belly With his good mate Slim Hey! the land.